kind of I mentioned that I wanted to show you guys my my setup that I have my little corner in my trailer in my bedroom that I have for all of my makeup storage organization skincare hair care all of that um, I'll show you and let you know where everything is from um, and how I do things and you'll see an overall collection of what I have as well I thought I would do that because it's changed so much recently since I've become affiliated with Shop Masse since I've kind of stopped trying to get the latest and greatest high-end products it just I've tried them I've worked with those companies and I'd rather stick with affordability that's kind of where my niche falls and where I feel comfortable so I am slowly switching things around I do still have high-end and there are some high-end that I will never get rid of and I'll tell you guys when we come across those in my collection um but I will try to list everything um Probably not so much the actual makeup products or brushes or things like that, but the organization and things like that I will list down below for you guys. But if you need anything else, any more links, if you want to know where something you can get something at or what something was, just let me know in the comments and I will reply back to you guys or put a link in the description box. So let's go ahead and do this. Let me show you what I'm working with here. It's not a lot, okay? A lot of people are going to be shocked. It's not a lot, okay? I have to declutter things that I like in order to not look like a hoarder. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's the same old story. Nothing in life's for free. I've been living in the dark too. But I see the light now. Think I could make it out. Don't tell me that I might be wrong. I just want to live and let go and just just lose control It'll be alright, this I know Deep in my soul So just lose control Alright, so my wigs and my wig stand I actually got um, from Sheen Sorry if you guys are moving around um, I got those at Sheen, all of them This is my Sheen Wax Melter and it works amazingly. And I put a lot of my favorite products right here. So they have easy access or I have easy access. And I put all of my AOA facial tools in here in a little candle holder because it has a leopard thing on it that I love. Um, I reuse a lot of stuff. So I got this at Five Below, which is just fake grass. I don't know why. But then this, um, the tray is actually from Eco Tools. You can get... Sometimes I sell sets of makeup brushes from EcoTools with these little trays. And they all work together. And I did not know that until recently. But I use this and I have my body care. I have from Hemp. So this is a hydrating body mask. My hair care. My hair growth spray. A toner spray. My dry shampoos. My firming skin from Strivectin. And some oil spray from Arvizalia. Heat protectant. I put all of my... Favorites are things that I actually want to try up here. So right now it's just full of my favorites. And then we have Nikki's cell phone. Nikki, hi. I forgot like a quarter of this as I was filming. But in my first drawer here, this is where I keep all of my jewelry. And I got these little velvet organizers on Amazon. So I'll link those below. But I have like everything... This is necklaces and bracelets, watches, all of my rings, and then earrings, which is mostly Sheen and Shop Masse. <laughs> and then I have my Shop Masse breast tape, which is amazing in here as well. Now with this, I actually got that at Target to hang on the wall. It was very inexpensive and I loved it. I have a lot of my aesthetically pleasing things on this little thing. And all of my perfumes. I love them so much. I have my little Frozen Anna palette from the ColourPop. I only got it because it's a thing between me and my sister. We, She's like Elsa and I'm like Anna. I love it. Now, I do keep most of my aesthetic stuff in here, though, because I keep my um, lotions that I'm using at the moment, which this is Dead Sea by Ahava, 
And then this is Nivea Cherry Blossom. I have my Oscar Delorante or Delorante, um, Delorenta, Bella Blanca <laughs> perfume. Um, a little, like, brush holder that I'm not using at the moment. The J.Lo Glow perfume. Anybody remember J.Lo Glow? Yeah, and then I have a crystal that is supposed to absorb negative energy. Need that. Um, I also have a Marc Jacobs highlighter that I like more for the packaging than I do if it, it doesn't match my skin tone. Little mini perfumes that I have a weird thing with collecting. Yes. Um, my mom actually gave this to me as a gift, I believe. Or maybe I found it. I'm not sure. But it was somewhere inexpensive. But I put all of my kind of bigger rings on them. My Elizabeth Arden white tea perfume. I've repurchased this so many times. This is just a little perfume thing I think I found at Burlington. And this is the Giorgio Armani My Way that's almost gone. <sighs> That makes me a little sweaty to think about. But then I have my little blender holders here. I love them. I think they look so cute when I'm not using them right there. This was a cup that was actually sent to me um, in like a friend mail from a subscriber. And I've kept it because I love it. It has my Khloe Kardashian perfume in it. Some of my Scentbird perfumes. And then I have my I Love Nail Polish polishes up here because they're expensive. Yes, they are. Now down here in this section, this is a unit that you can actually get on Shop Miss A, but it's not inexpensive. It is a little bit pricey. Um, it's from their sister company called Lilavani, and this is a UV and automatic drying system for anything that you want. Your brushes, your beauty blenders, your keys, your phone, literally anything. It costs a little bit. I think it's close to like $250 or something like that, so I would get it if you want something like this on a sale day. But this is amazing, and I actually put my own stickers on it to kind of, they're also from Shop Miss A, to kind of just make it my own. And then in this little thing here, um, looks dirty, it's just stained with makeup and masks, but this first drawer here is all of my extra skincare that I have. Like I said, I buy Shop Miss A in bulk. <laughs> I was not kidding. I do want to get something different for this at some point, but for now it works. This is all of my masks, not sheet masks, clay masks, things like that. My favorite drawer. This is the first jumbled mess of my hair care drawer. Yeah. And then this is my second mess, but this is like my self tanners. I have a dermal planer there, another skincare tool. That's just you know, the free for all drawer. And then this is my mask drawer, my sheet mask, foot mask, eye mask, any mask that is a sheet mask goes in here. And then up here, I just put some of my most used palettes. I have the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals. I have the Hourglass Ghost Edit. This was $80. So I will never get rid of this. And I really do like the formulation, the formulation on these. So I will always keep that. One of my favorite bronzers is in this. This is a Smashbox Blaze palette. And then I have some Makeup Revolution. I have a NARS palette that I don't know if you can even get anymore. This is the Bore de Plague. It has all of my favorite highlighters and um, like contours from NARS. And then I have an Ofra palette with all of my favorite highlighters. And that's why I decluttered the single ones I had this month is because I have them all right here. So I love that. And then a palette that I haven't gotten to use yet, and that's why it's up here, is from BH Cosmetics, The Illuminating in Ireland. Look at that. It's all highlighters. Cannot wait. And the holder there that holds those, I actually got that on Amazon, and it's always in my influencer storefront on my Amazon page. It's always linked down below. They are super super inexpensive. And talking about Amazon, my mirror right there is from Elvarog, I think. And it is a lighted mirror that I got from um, Amazon as well. So this is the mirror. And I love this because I can actually charge my Mac with it. But it lights up with different lighting modes. It's amazing. And it's got the five times magnification on the back. So my daughter actually tried to steal this from me. <laughs> But behind that, I have a lotion that I've been loving and trying out recently from Influencer. And then just my nail polish remover is there in the back. And I get that on Amazon. It's from Onyx Professional. You can also get it at Five Below and TJ Maxx. It's super inexpensive, but it is rough if you wear a lot of, like, glitter or something like that. 
And then I have this. Look at this. This is my new merch. It's my new merch. Let's, let me show it to you. This is actually for sale. If you look below the video, I have merch and it says Addicted to Shop Miss A. And then the back here says, and it feels great with the BBB logo. I love it. And I keep my quick dry towels in this. And it's so aesthetically pleasing. I keep it just for looks over there. So yeah, I keep it right here just for aesthetics. Um, I do want to purchase another one to actually drink out of, but I love it. But behind here I have my AOA, which kind of matches the whole aesthetic of what I have going on here, um, which is more teal and pinks. And this has all of, you can get these at um, Chamasse, they're from AOA, and you can actually use a thumbtack and you can hang them as well. They have holes in the back to do that. But I have all of my extra skincare, traveling skincare bottles, eye creams, everything in here that is for a specific reason. So I put all of those little extras there and then we can move over to this beauty which I bought myself and I was very proud of it because they are not inexpensive but this one was actually pretty affordable. So I will link this down below for you guys but this I use just for my skincare, um, my skincare tools, my lip products and then the bottom I have saved for my false lashes from Shop Miss A. I do have a, a pair from Pure right here, but I don't think I like them, so I'm kind of iffy on trying it. But you can open this up like this, and I have in here all of my tools, all my little skincare scoops from Shop Miss A, my tweezer min tweezers, eyelash serum, I have my SEMA derma planer, and then all of the skincare that I am currently trying out or using along with my tool here that I talked to you guys about. I use this every single day, every single day, twice a day. My little AOA cryo ball is in here along with the little like mixing mask tub thing. I love this. This might be my favorite drawer in my collection, but it's also the most expensive. Um, I pulled this out. I have my AOA color changer and then I have, I got these from Sheen. You can put these in your fridge for like 10 minutes and they get super cold and then rub them around your eyes. I really, really like those a lot and they're super inexpensive from Sheen. And then in here I have all of my jelly jams, my chapsticks, my Jouer lip scrub, which is amazing. I keep all of those right there. And then, of course, like I said, my false lashes, which is just Shop Miss A. I have the 3D Glam, the 3D Faux Minks, and then I have some of the AOA Pro ones. And this I've had forever, and I put it in my own frame that I had, but I got it just as a sheet off of Etsy. And you can just put it in your frame like you want it, and I've just had that for years. I absolutely love it. And then we go down, and that basket is from OKI OK I just recently got. It keeps my beauty blenders in there. And I also have my heating tool pad thing from AOA in there as well. And then we come down to these bad boys. Whew. Okay, so these are actually broken apart. Like these three are one, this is one, and this is one. And they can actually stack on top of each other or stack on top of each other. And I got these on Amazon and they come in multiple different colors. So I'm sorry I'm blurry. I know I'm blurry, but I want you guys to be able to see the setup a little bit better. Um, in these... I keep my bronzers, my highlighters, my blushes, um, that all goes in here. And I do have, for the most part, I have them kind of organized to things from Shop Miss A, things from Sheen, and then higher end. So I really like that. I keep my palettes, everything. I don't have a lot of bronzing things because I'm really picky about those, but blushes is like half of this. And also, I wanted to show you real quick. I have these nail polish racks that are also acrylic. I have them on, on both sides across from the room. I have them as well. I got those all on Amazon and I'm getting more. I love them. They look so professional. And then this over here, it says good vibes only on the front. It's an acrylic holder that I got at TJ Maxx. It's Ray Dunn. I was super excited and I keep a lot of my well-loved and used palettes right up there for display. A lot of them are from Shop Miss A or collaborations with YouTubers that I just keep. So I have that. And then all of these acrylics that you see here, they're all from Amazon, all of them. So I will link them, but I do not recommend these two in front of me, and I'll tell you why when we get there. But this one here is on Amazon. It's a little expensive. Really well made. Really, really well made. I keep all of my lip products in here, my lip liners on top, and then all of my lipsticks. And then down here in this one, which I think actually was supposed to go under this, but I didn't want that. So 
It's down here. I'm out of breath. Whew. But this one has my concealers my and my single shadows. And I actually have a free drawer down here, which is like unheard of. So I have that. And then over here, I have all of my brushes. Let me set you up so you can see a little bit better. Okay, now these, these are like three... I love these. I got these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They are already done. They hold all of my brushes and my mirrors. How much were they? Oh, I got this one on clearance for $10. I think they're normally $20. And I just put all of my brushes in those. And I also have little glass cups that are also from Ray Dunn that I got at TJ Maxx for $4.99. They say eyes and slay. And I keep all of my eye brushes in those I think they're so cute now these acrylics I actually got free from a company and I was supposed to review them or do a sponsor with them and they sent me one and it was completely broken and what I liked about it was that you have your slots your normal slots but then you also have slots for jewelry on the side and I thought that was amazing but it's really expensive and one came broke so I told them they sent me another one and that one came broke too so I couldn't do a sponsorship or recommend it at that point. I have kept them, but as you can see, like, this one doesn't even have a corner on it. It's chipped off. These don't open very well. This one is completely cracked. They just, they're not very aesthetically pleasing. So I am looking for something to replace them, but they have to be as big because I need that room. So I don't recommend those, even though I did get these on um, Amazon. They're probably still available, but I would not recommend but up here, I keep my Coco and Eve hair elixir, because I'm still using this, extra SD card, and my AOA pigments, along with all of my foundations. And this thing here, that has my eyes, um, cups in it, and my foundations, and setting sprays, this I just recently got off of Amazon as well. I just got this off of Amazon. It's really, really nice, and it's not acrylic. It's a certain kind of plastic that dust wipes right off from. Because acrylic, dust sticks to, and it's really hard. So I love that. The mirror my husband actually made, and then I have vanity lights up above that make my lighting orange, as you can see. <laughs> so I have all of that. But here is where I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes right in front of me. I don't have a lot that's high-end. It's mostly, like, limited edition is high-end. But other than that, it's LA Colors, it's Shop Miss A, it's ColourPop, it's Sheen. I've just really been, or things that I get at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, if it's high-end. And then here I have my brow products. I don't have a lot of those. These are all my liners, liquid and pencil. I have all my mascaras here. And then I have all of my primers here. And then in this bigger drawer, I have all of my powders. So, and this is just a bunch of palettes. I mean, I have palettes galore. So that is what's going on here. And up here, I actually have um, a picture of Shannon Rose and their family because I'm a Patreon member of hers and I support her over there and you get this like every month she sends you a picture. Um, I love it. I think it's so amazing. I like to support creators any way I can. Buying merch, buying things from a newly made shop, anything that I can do, I try really, really hard because I know how it feels to not be supported. And in here, I keep, I used to work with FameBit. I don't anymore. I don't even know if they're a thing. Um, they kind of blended into YouTube again. But this is where I keep my deodorant, things that I'm trying, um, things to remind myself to finish my influencer tasks that I have to do, extra tints and foundations, blotting paper, my shop miss a gel lined items, my makeup wipes, and then all of my like I have my hand and nail care stuff in here, a little hair remover, essential oils, teeth whitening things with styling clips all of my hair ties and then all of my hair pins which are all from Chamasse. <laughs> and then I just have a little basket there that I keep all of my stuff that I need to haul in and then of course my Mac which the screen the Mac is my um, viewfinder because my DSLR does not have one so that's what I use to film on and then we have Lenny down there and then up there are more of the the nail polish acrylics. I got that on Etsy. That's Shannon Rose's merch. <laughs> like, those we got at Lowe's. This is the little corner that I work with, guys. I'm sorry. It's really hard to film in this. But that, that is the collection. That is what I got. My little corner of heaven. My little corner of heaven. 
If any of you guys have any tips on ways that I can organize this even more, maximize it, any cool storage you know about that might be useful for me, please let me know. Let a girl know. This is an ever-growing and organizing corner. It's always doing something. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe um, so you can stick around and see what I do with all these products. Um, I will try, like I said, to list everything down below. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, or anything like that, leave them in the comments. And I, of course, will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.